All right, what's up, guys? I'm going to try this again. This is actually a third time that I've tried this one. So um, uh, the story here, there are two stories. First of all, of course, Li Tang is in a goal because um, uh, our friend, uh, where is he? Uh, Liu Xiaoziang, there he is. His injury is going to be out for four weeks. He uh, hurt himself lifting weights. That's not the biggest story. The biggest uh, story and the biggest problem I'm running into is the football manager keeps exiting in the middle of the match. And so we'll see if this happens again. I've had this happen twice in a row. I just restarted my computer. Um, I thought for a while that I should probably go back away from uh, Proton Experimental back to Proton version 8. And uh, so I went into that to try to um, uh, do a little bit of a downgrading, see if that could fix things up. And um, instead, it just made it so that I couldn't launch uh, Football Manager at all. Um, so we're still having um, a number of uh, Linux-related problems here. I'm not quite sure what's causing the game to exit in the middle of the match. This is the first time I've run into that. There are a number of things that could be going on, and one of them, as you know, is the fact that um, we're running kind of a real sketchy um, editor data file that I got off the Steam Workshop, and it's possible that there's some sort of conflict or bug there. I've already discovered, as I said before, that um, if I look at the Chinese national team, it causes the game, uh, the save file, to completely uh, become corrupted for whatever reason. Abrefa with this now passes forward to Delphi. Can't quite find him, and that's knocked out for a throw. Uh, but this is the first time I've had it where it just quits in the middle of the match. No error message at all it just quits Jubin now kicks this one forward looking for Paulson can't quite find the uh, goal he ends up knocks knocking that one off of the woodwork but it was a pretty good um, a pretty good thought and here's a Brefa now with the corner and he knocks this one forward looking for Tenjun he also knocks it off of that woodwork and uh, we just can't quite straighten it out but that wasn't too bad at all I've noticed that uh, my fan is not quite ha going into connections the way that it was before um, it's possible that it could be a hardware error that I'm running into uh, which wouldn't surprise me as you might know I'm running this on a uh, 2019 iMac um, one of those iMac 26s which is a pretty nice computer but um, had a whole bunch of hardware problems running Mac OS which is why I switched over to Pop OS here's another corner for us it's gonna be Wade this time Wade knocks this one forward and uh, knocks it over looking for Paulson quite can't quite find him Delphi grabs it here in the end Delphi moves this one up over to uh, who was that with that shot? I didn't really see who that was, and it knocks off of everybody. Jubin with it, he just loses it. So who was that with this shot here? I, I didn't quite see it. I thought it was Paulson for a second, but it wouldn't make sense. Now it's Ployman with the shot. That's who it was, and it was Pan Ximin who saves the day for Hub AFC, um, and he does a good job to knock that one out. Hub AFC, I believe, we're facing them here in the Chinese FA Cup, assuming we can actually get past this match. And I don't. That's a big if. Jupin <laughs> runs forward uh, over to Montad, and uh, he knocks it over to Li Chang, who somehow misses the goal, and the Delphi can't uh, clean up the mess. And uh, we're not having a good time with things. Now, I will tell you this, in all three times that uh, now that I've been running this game, we're having similar problems. Um, that was actually the best I've seen Lee Chong play in all three um, encounters. So it doesn't necessarily mean that if you uh, do your little uh, save scumming um, and keep restarting this game uh, in the middle of the match that um, it's going to do you any good. <laughs> Lavi of the pass over to Wade, who's wide open, and instead sits around and fumbles around with it. I've got to wonder why Wade was that far forward. A lot of kind of weird things going on here so far today, but um, it's all right. And uh, unfortunately for us, the uh, uh, free kick ends up going nowhere. And uh, that is at the end of that highlight. Delphi with the ball here. Now, I will say that it's possible that there was some sort of Linux update or something that's caused a lot of havoc. Um, this is just sort of the way of the world today. I've kind of had to um, uh, accept this. No matter what operating system I use, I have crazy updates that do crazy things. Abrefa with the ball here, um, and he knocks this one backwards looking for Chen Jun and finds him back to Abrefa, and it's a poor pass, and we're just not playing right. Um, Keesley's got to be way offside. Paulson goes back and uh, knocks the ball off of him anyway. He's got to be offside there. Um, passes forward to Jubin, who's uh, been having a pretty poor game, and uh, he, uh, of course, makes me eat my words. That's a great shot by two being there from the corner and uh, it's one nothing Indian FC and uh, okay so last time around it was around the 30 minute mark and I'm going to tell you this if this match ends up exiting right in the middle we might end up just sort of using whatever it is that we have and sort of uploading it and talking about it and trying to figure out where to go from here um, it's uh, some of those uh, just Linux things where you're looking at it and you're like I'm not sure if there's even a, a crash dump and there it goes uh, that is So that is the uh, third time that we've had this uh, crash dump air right in the middle. And you can see, once again, that's the second time in a row it's been right around the 30-minute mark, and we can't quite um, advance past that. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of uh, snooping around to see if I can figure out what's going on. 
Um, it could be a number of things. I don't think that it's a hardware problem. I also really doubt that it's a software issue, um, unless it's something with Proton Experimental. My gut feeling tells me that there's probably something going on with that editor data file that um, has finally come out um, in the open. If you'll remember a couple days ago, I was talking about the um, wonderfully um, ever corrupted save that um, kind of uh, fell apart and uh, you know uh, couldn't uh, do anything as long as if we just uh, so much as clicked on the uh, Chinese national team. I've got a feeling that that's probably what's going on, that we're probably running into some error message uh, connected to that. So um, my plan here going forward is I'm going to uh, put this uh, video up today. I'm probably going to spend some time messing around with the game to make sure I can actually play through a full game. Um, and uh, we'll see where we can go from there. Um, we'll do a bunch of our own uh, tech support because, as you know, Sports Interactive doesn't uh, support Linux at all. So um, there you have it, and uh, we'll see what we can figure out from here. Um, but uh, yeah, after trying that three times in a row and getting the same error message around or the same uh, dump around the same time, I don't think that it's worth um, pushing through any longer. Um, my feeling is that we're probably seeing the end of this save, unfortunately, because I just I don't see any way that we're going to be able to save this one. Um, anyway, I will uh, talk with you tomorrow. Take care.